everybody, and this one should be a dandy this afternoon. No complaints about the weather tonight as we see nothing but stars in this contest between the Tulsa Golden Hurricane and the Dragons. And here come the Dragons. Hi, and welcome, everyone, to another great college football game brought to you by the fine folks at EA Sports. I'm Brad Nessler with Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreit. The Golden Hurricane come out like they're just going to roll over this team. What do you think about that, Herbie? Yeah, unfortunately, this one won't be much of a contest. Tulsa is tough on defense, and you're looking at the guy who runs the show. His versatility makes him one of the best safeties in the game, and he'll be all over the field as his team will win big. Forget about it. The home team is going to have a hard time moving the ball against this attacking defense. Thanks, guys. Looks like we're going to have an action-packed game. So let's get down to the field where they're waiting for the coin toss. Tulsa has the ball teed up, and we're ready for kickoff. Short kick. He didn't get a hold of that one. Maxwell fields it at the 13. Broke away from one. Kickoff return, 18 yards. Maxwell on the return. They'll start this drive at the 31-yard line. First and 10. Johnson, the lone back. Got some open field. He spins around, and he's tackled. A 10-yard gain. Second and less than a yard. Ball on the 41-yard line. The Dragons line up with two tight ends. They'll bring him down, and he carried that one for a few yards. You know, when you have a guy like that who can grab five yards or so consistently, it sure keeps some pressure off the passing game. First and ten. Ball on the 47-yard line. The Dragons with four receivers. Tackle. Number four on the run. No gain on the play. So it's second and ten. Ball on their own 47. Number four with three wide receivers. They go with a pitch to the right. He breaks free. And they make the stop. Great run by the tailback. On that play, the defense looked a little overmatched there. They just got swallowed up at the line of scrimmage. First and ten. This is the fifth play of this drive. Six DBs in the lineup. A little handoff. And he's taken down. He picked up big yardage on that run. Oh, this is great blocking up front. Nice job of holding on to their blocks, allowing him to break through for some big yards. It's first and ten, and this is the sixth play of the drive. The Golden Hurricane bringing the nickel package. Johnson, again, brought down. Eight yards on the pickup. Second and two coming up here. This is the seventh play of this drive. Expect the defense to turn it up a notch here in the red zone. Tackle. And that was a nice job of running. You know what, Brad? If they can utilize a balanced offense, mix up the run with the pass, they should be able to get more of these five to six yard runs. It's first and ten, and this is the eighth play of the drive. Number four comes to the line with three wide. On the ground with the tailback. They'll bring him down, and they pick up nine there. And that's the end of the quarter. We're scoreless after one. The Dragons line up in a split back set. They'll keep it on the ground again. And it pays off. Touchdown. Good idea giving it to the halfback near the end zone. Why would you give it to this guy? He told me before the game, if he gets the ball inside the 10, you can five-star lock it. He's going to score. 
Not what we expected, but it's the coach's call, and he wants to go for two. They don't get it. The two -point conversion is no good. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Number 13, back to return. Here's the kick. Number 16 fields it at the 22. This tackle. They'll go to work at the 32. Tulsa comes out with an eye formation. He's looking. Short toss. And it's caught. And he's tackled. Tulsa calls a timeout. Second and four. Ball on the 38-yard line. The Golden Hurricane come out in a shotgun. He drops back. Looks. Throws. Complete. Crocker brings him down. That reception good for around four yards. Third down, less than a yard. Ball on their own 42. Number 23 is the single setback. And down he goes. And they get enough for the first. What's interesting about that short run on third down is now they have the ability to go to the play-action pass and try to stretch this defense out a bit. I was just going to say that. And don't be surprised if they don't go to the air right now. They line up with split backs. They'll throw on first down. Throws. He just let his wide out a little too much that time. It's second down and 10 to go. This is the fifth play of this drive. They come out in a nickel. Back to pass. Wants to throw outside. Incomplete pass. A little laundry on the field, and we'll find out whose it is. Holding on the offense. Ten yard penalty. These guys right now are just helping out the opposition. Yeah, and those mistakes drive a coach crazy. Lack of discipline on the field hates it. Second and long coming up here. Ball on their own 34. The Golden Hurricane come out in the ace formation. Here they come with the interception. And he's taken down. The pressure definitely got to the quarterback there because that pass was not on target. Yo, were those guys coming after him or what? And he did the worst thing he could possibly do, throw it up for grabs. Yeah, the defense was just sitting on that. They were in zone coverage. As soon as they saw he was in trouble, they were all over the football. They come out with four wideouts. Drops back to pass. Looking. He's going left. And they couldn't hook up on that one. He looks to be hurt down there. Second it's second ten. down and 10 to go. Oh, All on the 26-yard line. The Dragons line up with three wide. He drops back. He's looking. He's looking down the middle. It's tipped. Well, he tried to thread the needle with that pass. Well, here the quarterback makes a poor decision throwing into coverage. Needs to look at his progression and find the second and third receiver. Third down and 10 coming up. Ball on the 26. Tulsa brings in their nickel package. Looks. Steps up in the pocket. Going deep. It falls incomplete. A little too much juice on that one. This quarterback sometimes gets a little bit too excited back there and tries to put too much on it. He's got to relax and just make a good throw. Not much choice here. They have to try for it. Setting up the play action. He steps up. End zone. He came down with it. Touchdown. Do they have that defense guessing now or what? I mean, did you see how well the quarterback hit the ball? Yeah, some quarterbacks are just so good at selling the play action. It's truly an overlooked skill. You take my friend Kirk here, for example. He wasn't known for his speed, but boy, he could do a good play fake. Are you calling me slow? This is coming from a guy whose nickname is based on his foot speed. Isn't that right, Scooter? Yeah, left out sunshine. It's sunshine, Scooter, sweetheart. The, the Dragons ready, ready to kick. Number 13, back to return. Short kick. He didn't get a hold of that one. 
Number 23 takes it to 21. Great job by the defense last time forcing the pick. I wouldn't be surprised to see a few runs here by the offense to start things off. They'll get the ball here at the 36. Tulsa lines up in a shotgun set. They'll throw on first down. Across the middle. Incomplete. He just let his wide out a little too much that time. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 36-yard line. Tulsa comes to the line with three wide. Drops back to pass. Throws it to the outside. Finds his receiver inside the 30. To the 20. To the 10. He's all the way home. Touchdown. The wideout made a great catch for the score. Actually, I'm even more impressed with the throw. He hung in there and delivered a beautiful ball. And he hits the PAT. Time to take a look at the drive summary. It's brought to you by Pontiac. Fuel for the soul. Tulsa is ready to kick it away. And this one's a short kick. Maxwell fields it at the 18. They moved the ball very effectively on their last drive, which ended with a touchdown. The defense has been talking it over on the sideline, trying to make some corrections. Let's see hey, if they can 10. stop them this time. Ball Johnson, the lone back. Back to pass. Looking. He's rolling left. He's going left. Almost picked off. And he threw that one up for grabs. This is one of the things that drives a coach crazy. You don't want to do anything stupid. Make mental mistakes that may cost you the ball game. Right, so it's second and ball 10. On the ball on the 31. The Dragons line up in a split back set. He drops back. He's looking. Over the middle. And it's caught. Breaks one. <laughs> Brought down. And they get the first down on that completion, Coach. That was a very nice first down conversion. The key to that play was the fact that the quarterback had plenty of time to look downfield. Right. First and 10. Ball right around midfield. The Dragons line up with five receivers. It's a bad snap. Steps up. He throws a dart. Got it. He goes down. What an outstanding play that was. Yo, that was a perfectly designed pass play. And they ran it to perfection. It's first and ten. They're threatening inside the 20. Their last trip down here was a success. Let's see if this one will result in another touchdown. It's deflected. Folks, let's pause now as we've reached the end of the first half. Second half just about set to get underway as the teams line up for the kick. Here's the kick. Number 23 takes it to 21. And now a slight break in the action as the offense comes out onto the field for their next possession. They'll set up shop at the 32. The Golden Hurricane come out showing three wide. There's the play fake. Looks under heavy pressure. Feeling the pressure. And he throws it away. Great pressure on the quarterback forced that incompletion. Boy, they really pounded him on that throw. They sure did, but somehow he got rid of the football. Second and 10. Ball on the 32-yard line. Nickel defense. Handoff up the middle. Horton with a takedown. The fullback gains about four yards there. Now it's third and six coming up. Ball on the 36. Number 23 is the single setback. Throws it to the outside. At the 40. Inside the 30. He goes down. Oh, my. What do you think of that one, Kirk? Boy, I'll tell you what. The quarterback delivered a perfect pass on that play and gave them more than enough for the first down. It's first and 10. Ball on the 16. 
Expect the defense to turn it up a notch here in the red zone. Play action. Looking. Under pressure. Throws this one out to the right. Touchdown, Tulsa. And a nice connection for the score, Coach. Yep, yep, yep. The defense can forget about it. Going for two is the right call here. He drops back. Throws to the middle. And they get the two. So here's the Pontiac drive summary to recap what just happened. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He kicks it. Maxwell takes it to 15. Spin move. It's on the ground. Horton with a recovery. They'll start this drive at the 30. Ball on the 30-yard line. Johnson alone in the backfield. Johnson gets the carry. And they hit him in the backfield. Come on, he's just a skinny little cornerback. You got to be able to break that tackle and get some yardage. Second and 11 coming up. Ball on the 29-yard line. They come out with four wide out. Back to pass. He's looking. He unloads it. Got him. And they make the stop. And he hauled that one in for a first down. Well, that's a big-time play. Did an excellent job there of getting separation from the defender. And he's able to pull down that pass for quite a few yards. First and 10. Ball on the 35-yard line. The Golden Hurricane line up with six defensive backs. Over the middle. Got it to its receiver. They'll bring him down. Good yardage there. That'll move the sticks. Nice time to call pass here. It looked like the defense might have been looking run. It's first and ten. Ball on the 19-yard line. The offense got six the last time they were inside the 20. Let's see what they do here. And the quarterback picks up about three on the draw. It's second down and seven to go. Ball on the 16-yard line. Three wide outs here. Only a field goal separates these two teams as we move to the fourth quarter. There are two minutes to go in this football game. Johnson is the deep back as they line up in the eye. He's got an opening. And they're in. Touchdown. He showed some explosive power on that run to the end zone. He's a very physical fullback, but he's got the grace of a halfback. Not what we expected, but it's the coach's call, and he wants to go for two. Brought down. Is it me, or was that a horrible call by the old head coach? No question. You kick the extra point in this situation. The Dragons looks ready to kick this one off. Number 13, back to return. Here's the kick. Number 23 takes it at the 20. Great passing was the key for the offense the last time they had the ball. They were able to pick apart the defense and get down the field for a touchdown. So if I'm the coach, I'm telling my defensive lineman to get more pressure on that quarterback, please. The Golden Hurricane set up in the gun. They'll throw on first down. Looks. He's looking down the middle. Someone got a hand on it. And the linebacker makes a good defensive play. The thing I like about this play is he made the play without getting pass interference. This is a good football player. The Golden Hurricane come out in the ace formation. Drops back to pass. Looking. Throws. Got it. And he's tackled. How about that reception, Lee? A good throw plus a nice catch and some good blocking equals to a chunk of yards. That's exactly what you practice all the time, Brad. First and 10. Ball on the 43-yard line. 
the Golden Hurricane. Come out with split backs. Across the middle. His receiver has it. The 10. And it's a whole new ball game. The wide receiver flew down the field on that touchdown connection. But he has the speed to stretch the defense, and his hands are getting better every single game. And he tacks on the extra point. Time to take a look at the Pontiac Drive Summary. And remember, the good folks at Pontiac have been bringing you fuel for the soul since 1926. Tulsa ready to kick this one off. And it's a short kickoff. Maxwell takes it to 14, shakes off a tackle. Thanks to some nice passing on the last drive, the offense was able to take it down the field for six. And great play calling to help make that an easy drive. The question is, can they do it again? The Dragons come out in a two tight end set. He's got an opening with the spin. And down he goes. And that was an outstanding run by that young man. Brad, you're exactly right. The ball carrier is able to break through that secondary without much resistance at all. It's first and 10. Ball on the 37-yard line. The Dragons line up with three wide. They hand it off. He's on the run. Spinning. And he's taken down. And that was a fantastic run by the tailback. This defense has got to get back to the basics. Just a simple counterplay, and they were not ready at all. I don't know. They're just getting overpowered right now up front. One man backfield. And they got him for a loss. The Dragons are going to take a timeout, and they've got two remaining. It's second down, 15 to go. Ball on the 30. Tulsa lines up in a dime defense here. He drops back. He's looking. He's going to go for the home run. And it falls incomplete. He needed a little more touch on his throw. He's got to take a deep breath, relax, and just play a little pitch and catch out there. Don't be anxious, kid. Third down, 15, and this is the fifth play of the current drive. The Dragons go with the I formation. They go with a toss. Got some open field. Brought down. And the tailback picks up good yardage there. This is very important. Listen up. If this defense cannot stop the running game, they're in big trouble. Maybe not here, but somewhere down the road. Another trip to the red zone. Last time, it resulted in a touchdown. They go with a pitch to the right. That gives him two rushing scores on the day. I'm not sure I agree with the decision to go for two here. Looks over the middle. They don't get the two. And he overshot his receiver on that one. Well, here the quarterback needs to relax down near the end zone, step up, and make a better throw. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Number 13, back deep to return. Short kick. He didn't get a hold of that one. Number 13 takes it to 21. Jiffy move there. Let's see if this defense has trouble defending the pass again here. If they do, my friend, look out. They're going to give up another touchdown in a hurry. Tulsa lines up in a pro set. They'll throw on first down. Rolling out to the right side. He's looking for his man. Incomplete pass. Penalty marker down in the backfield. Might be a holding call. First little foul. Dropping the pass. 15 yard penalty. And he took the quarterback down late. That guy's a bit too fired up, and he was just letting out a little frustration. But the quarterback is not the guy to do that to. Right. 
First and ten. Ball on the 47-yard line. Tulsa lines up with three receivers. Back to pass. Steps up in the pocket. Looking. He's under pressure. He lets it go deep down the middle. It's deflected. The ball is knocked to the ground. Players use anything they can to get in the way of a pass. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 47. Drops back to pass. He's looking. He's in trouble. Pumps once. Wants to go long and does. It falls incomplete. He just let his wide out a little too much that time. Third and 10. Ball on the 47-yard line. One last play, folks. It's time to find out how far he can throw it and see if this game becomes one of the all-time greatest. Here we go. Looks. He's under some heat. Slater comes away with a sack. This one's in the books, folks. Kirk, what'd you think of this one? I'm sad to see this one in because it was a great game to watch. Tulsa played a good game out there, but they needed to make one or two more big plays, and they couldn't do it. Who knows? Another couple of minutes, and this one may have gone the other way. Folks, thanks for tuning in to this game. Our final score, the Dragons, 24, Tulsa, 22. For Lee Corso, Kirk Herbstreet, and everyone.